What can you tell us about the battle of quarterback? Right it, it's been good, and it's uh, it's been very even. Um, tomorrow, when we go out there and we we actually get put in some situations and we start, you know. Uh, scrimmaging and just seeing what they're capable of doing it's going to actually probably separate one another a little more but right now it's been all even haven't really had any live situations yet so um, I'm, I'm very pleased with where they're at you know Kyle he, he's getting better each day he's getting more comfortable with the offense Kenny keeps doing what he's doing you think Kenny's natural just because he's been here a year longer there's a little more rhythm at this point yeah there is but there's also a lot of questions to be uh, be answered on the perimeter especially with you know um, our receivers just like you know, Frank Iannato and Jamal Jeffrey and just, you know, Josh Reynolds just trying to gain that, you know, that rhythm back with each other. But, you know, that he, he, he looks pretty sharp to me right now. But there's still some answers to be to worked out between both of them. Hey, what kind of pressure situations do you plan to see? What, what, what kind of situations do you want to see these guys perform? In? Tomorrow we're going to put them in a, a series of, you know, probable situations and negative situations. So you're going to see them doing some coming out, coming out of the end zone. Um, you know, we'll also put it on the plus five so they can actually have some time to score. We're going to be do some two-minute situations. We're going to be plus 40, minus 20. It's going to be all over the field, so we're going to have some heavy evaluation tomorrow. And aside from moving the ball or getting the ball downfield, what do you, do you really want to see? Yeah, I just want to see him rhythm. I want to see him make some plays. I want to see the, the offense start clicking. You know, uh, I want to see the ones who's going to get those first downs that's going to lead into touchdowns. And, and this off, offense is really heavy off of rhythm. And, you know, it, we can't just go out there and three and out on time. So I want to see uh, them get in the rhythm of things, make some plays, and just, you know, put us in the best position to succeed. Any how, difference how between the way the quarterbacks operate the offense? Does the, op does the offense operate differently quarterback to quarterback? Uh, no, it's the same. It is the same. You know, they're both – they both utilize their strengths. You know, and, and Kyle, you can you can see he starts favoring receivers that he has a better rhythm with, and, and Kenny favors others receiver, other receivers. That's just the, the natural progression of quarterbacks. How valuable is a guy like Connor to your program? What he does. The <laughs> Connor McQueen, he he's the veteran of our group. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he's got the most starts out of anybody in that room, and you know, we they look for him for for a lot of advice, <laughs> on and off the field. Can you put your guys in game-like situations? I know it's difficult being out on the practice field, but something they may face when they play South Carolina. Yeah, it, it, that's Coach Snyder is very multiple with his defenses, and we're gonna we don't know what um, South Carolina is gonna come out and do. Um, so you know we're we're out there preparing for everything, but you know from all the looks that we're seeing, we're we're, we're in game-like situations. Jay, do you see the situation a situation happening to where it's so close that maybe you don't name a quarterback whenever at, the, at that point where you want to? You hey, I hope not. I hope I'm able to to announce a quarterback after we get through this fall camp part. But you know, you never never say never. But I'm looking forward to naming one. I just say that you get a little more mobile and more more comfortable in the pocket since he's been with the full team now? Yeah, he is. He He's more athletic than you think. Um, he's, you know, everyone says he's the pocket passer and he was number one rated, but he's he's able to keep plays alive and, and he plays to his strengths and weaknesses pretty well. Not to say you'd be in the situation, but if you were, are you comfortable with Connor running this team? <laughs> Am I comfortable? Yeah, <laughs> Connor can go in there right now. Yeah. You know, he, he knows it better than anybody and, and he's very uh, he's very good when I'm off you know, running, calling plays and doing things with the offense. He can talk to the other quarterbacks, the one he's seeing, and, and he's kind of like a coach on the side when I'm not around him. And it's not an ideal situation, but third stringers have played before, like four years ago at Houston, right? It's not unheard of. <laughs> De definitely, and, and, and Connor is a great role player for us right now. You know, he's ready to step up to the occasion. We also got other packages working around with other guys playing quarterback, but, you know, Connor, he, he's a guy that you want on your team. Who are some of those other guys? Uh, we haven't got too in, de in detail with it yet, but it's Ricky Seals Jones and and Speedy Noel. With uh, I know you guys use numbers a little bit in evaluation. Do you guys look at any beyond just the normal numbers from what you get out there? Do you guys look at anything analytical, advanced type stuff to, to evaluate your quarterbacks? The quarterbacks, it, it's all about production with me, and and stats can be skewed in so many ways. If if you know, you go out there and they have the same completion percentage. I'm, you you got to actually look uh, if they're actually moving the ball and scoring points. You know, because I, I've seen it in quarterback battles where they've been even, but once had 10 more touchdowns than the other. So it, it also goes down to the production of what they're doing in scrimmages. We'll talk about kind of fitting this offense to the personnel you have, but the personnel you've had in the past, mm -hmm. is this personnel group similar in any way to some groups you've had before? <laughs> no, the the profile is a lot different. There's a lot bigger guys. You know, you have your Cam Clear and Rick, Ricky Seals Jones. So it, there's going to be some things that I haven't done in the past, but you can utilize those type of guys because they're big and athletic. But very similar to what what, what I've done in the past.
Can you talk a little bit about the evolution of the offense this season as you take over more uh, the play calling? Uh, it, it's pretty similar. It, it is. Um, I'm, you know, I'm still an up tempo guy. I, I don't think playing fast the entire time is going to be beneficial. I think the guys that can surprise you with tempo is the is uh, the most efficient offensive coordinators out there. But you know, I think the smart offensive coordinators play into their personnel, and I think we're looking heavy into that right now. You say the, the offense is you know, supposed to be balanced. Do you think this year, though, with all the running backs with such experience, do you think you're going to go more towards them a little because they're so much talent and you have to feed so many mouths. Yeah, def- definitely. You know, you have four returning offense linemen, three returning backs, and for an inexperienced, you know, quarterback, that is something definitely to lean on. And and they're, if, if the, there's third and one, I'm, I, you probably see them trying to hand that ball off to Trey Carson, getting downhill and getting that first down. And would you have not done that in the past when you had Johnny? Uh, it, it depends. You know, it, it, the past, some of the past universities I had, we didn't have that offensive line that was that can get downhill like we do right now. So we, we relied on getting the ball in the perimeter, which, you know, that if you looked at our stats with Case Keenum, he threw it like 70 times a game. And we consider those screens run plays back then. So, you know, it, it's definitely changed up, and, it, and it's kind of a rhythm of the game. And if the running backs are feeling it, we're going to get it to them.